Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to do a quick comparison between the Google Pixel 6 Pro and the Samsung Z Flip 4. Now, if you guys are interested in either one of these devices, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to give you my best uh, opinion as to which one I think you should maybe buy. Um, now, the first thing you're going to look is you're going to see that, of course, the Pixel 6 Pro has the bigger form factor. Uh, this is a pretty big phone. And the Z Flip 4 is a pocket-friendly device where you can literally just slip it into your pocket and forget that it's there. So uh, that, for one, uh, is a win for a lot of people. If you want a pocketable phone, this is the one to go. If you like a big phone, then definitely go with the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, when you open this phone up, you're going to see that uh, the screen are both 6.7 inches, right? But... The Pixel 6 Pro is wider. So you're going to go ahead and see that it is actually a wider device. So you can tell that it's probably just a few centimeters wider, but you can definitely tell when you're using the device. So when you hold this one in your hand, you're going to tell that it's a lot wider than this one. Uh, this is a more narrow device. Like I said, it's pocket friendly. Uh, if you're watching videos and you like uh, you know, a lot of streaming, um, both of these devices are very good. Uh, the reason I would like this one is because, let's say, you want to watch something on, um, I don't know, Prime Video or whatever you guys watch. Um, so I'll just go ahead to click on that. And uh, let's just see. What's good about it is you can just do this, just like that. And you can just put the phone down and watch the video. So that in itself is a win for the Z Flip 4. Let's go ahead and get out of there. But at the same time, the screen is beautiful. The uh, the size is amazing. Um, I actually really like the screen. I feel like the colors are more natural on the uh, Pixel 6 Pro as opposed to the Z Flip 4. So uh, I think like, uh, yes, the Z Flip 4 is brighter, but this one kind of has more true tone colors for some reason. And uh, this is an OLED, and this is an AMOLED, so uh, both, all in all, are very good screens. Now, the one thing about the Pixel 6 Pro is that if you put the phone at all the way, the brightness all the way to the top, right, that's the highest brightness it's going to get. Now, the, the Z Flip 4's brightness is just way brighter. This is a brighter phone. So, in sunlight, you're going to get better visibility with the Z Flip 4. And I think this one can go up to like 1,500 nits. I think this one goes up to like 800 nits. So uh, you're getting a lot better visibility on this phone than you are on this phone in sunlight, of course. Now, with all that said, um, which one do I like better as far as the display? Um, honestly, uh, that is a very tricky question because I actually like them both. But for some reason... I really like the display on this one because of the true tone colors. And this is a quad HD. Quad HD display. And then this one here is a 1080. So this is a full HD plus. So quad HD, full HD plus. I'm going to go with the quad HD. Now, performance. Both of these phones are super quick. Uh, Google uses the Tensor chip. Samsung uses the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. You're not going to see any lag on either one of these devices. Um, they're super fast. Um, there's nothing that slows them down. I believe this one has 8 gigabytes of RAM for the Z Flip 4, 12 gigabytes of RAM for the uh, Pixel 6 Pro. So performance-wise, no lag. Absolutely zero lag. Now, animations. I think that I prefer the animations on the Pixel 6 Pro because they don't overdo it. I feel like sometimes with uh, the animations on the uh, Samsung, it might stutter a little bit, but that's just because of the animations. So I would definitely reduce the animations on the Samsung if that bothers you. Battery life has gotten better on the Pixel 6 Pro. I've been having, I've had this phone for about two months now, and the battery life has gotten better. Let's go to AccuBattery here and see what uh, what the readings are. Um, so I'm getting really. So right now, 67% getting 3 hours and 30 minutes. Not bad. Uh, here I have 5 hours and 5 minutes, 89% for the uh, for the Z Flip 4. 
Okay. Now, the good thing is, is that um, with Google, the machine learning the battery has gotten better. So over the last you know month, the battery has gotten better. It's adjusted to, to the way I use the phone. The Z Flip 4 has a smaller battery at 3,500 uh, milliamp hours. So the good thing is it charges really fast, but at the same time, it's not going to last you all day. Um, I'm thinking, you know, neither one of these phones are really going to last you all day on heavy use. But this phone right here, the Z Flip 4 battery, um, it's it's not going to last you. It'll probably last you three quarters of the day, maybe. But uh, if you're a heavy user, uh, it does chew up a lot of battery. But the good thing is it charges super fast. And it is a smaller battery, so you're going to be able to charge it, you know, quite rapidly. So um, battery wise. Pixel 6 Pro has a little bit bigger battery, but it has a quad HD display. So I'm, I'm going to say they're pretty even in the battery department. Um, other than that, uh, another thing is cameras. You got the triple setup here. You got the dual setup here. Uh, this one does not have a uh, zoom lens. It's all digital. This one has the 20, uh, the 20 time uh, zoom. So the Pixel 6 Pro is going to win the camera department. But the Z Flip 4 does have pretty good video. Um, not the best, but it's decent. Um, but I'm going to say that uh, I'm really happy with the camera on the Pixel 6 Pro. Even the video is good. And it's gotten better over time with all the new updates that it's had. So, you know, the camera, the win is definitely going to be on the Pixel side. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're not really concerned about, you know, taking photos and videos, uh, the Z Flip 4 is just super cool, man. Like I said, this was my phone of the year last year. And, you know, the, the size is just perfect. But I am a Pixel fan, so I do like my Pixels. And I do wish that the Google would come out with a flip phone. But the form factor on this one is unbeatable. This is just an unbeatable form factor. This one's got the glass back. Definitely put a case on it. Um, I wish the screen in the front was a little bit bigger. But it does have all your notifications here and everything. So, I mean, it's cool. At least it's... Good for something um, but it's really lightweight this is a heavier phone this is a kind of you know it's about 210 grams which isn't bad it's not as heavy as an iphone you know 13 or 14 pro max but it's still you know still a heavy phone but i've gotten used to it so after two months i've gotten used to using this phone and uh, right now the heft doesn't bother me anymore so in the beginning i was just kind of skeptical because i traded in uh, i Sold my Pixel 6a to get this one, and the 6a has a really good form factor, really lightweight. So, all in all, these are fantastic phones. Like I said, you're not going to go wrong with either one of them. It's just going to depend on what do you look for in a phone. If you want a small, pocketable device, this is the one to get. Um, but if you want a phone that's going to take better photos, a better uh, display, I definitely go with the Pixel 6 Pro. Like I said, I like them both. Um, for me, it's Really a hard decision to make. Um, if I had to part with one of them, honestly, I would actually part with the Pixel 6 Pro just because um, when I got this phone on Samsung last year, they gave me a 1000 for my Z Flip 3. Well, they're not doing those deals anymore. So um, probably going to hold on to this for a little while longer, and I'll probably end up upgrading to the Pixel 7 Pro. So um, all in all, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps. If you like, don't forget, subscribe down below. Click the like button, and until next time, take care and stay blessed.